France has continued to increase its stake and influence in Africa even after colonialism. This can be seen from various angles, one of which is the presence and use of the French-backed currency, the franc CFA, in about 14 former French colonies. In the CFA franc system, two African central banks have for decades been obliged to deposit a large proportion of their foreign currency reserves into the French treasury, as you will be watching now. Do you think this is normal for a country with full independence to heed such an obligation? Those amounts African countries deposit to the French treasury represent double the amount of aid from France to sub-Saharan Africa. France essentially gives Africans back a fraction of those forced deposits as help. The former president of France, Jacques Chirac, said that the French people should accept the fact that a large amount of money they hold in banks comes from the exploitation of former colonies on the African continent. This situation continues to exist today because France hasn't stopped relations which benefits her a lot from the use of the franc CFA. She continues to use it to manipulate and exploit Africans. In this video, you will be watching 10 reasons why Africans must boycott France and the franc CFA. After watching, you might want to tell us your own point of view in the comments below. Before we do that, like and share this video so that it reaches many more people. Now. 10 Reasons Why Africans Must Boycott France and the CFA Let's begin with points related to the franc CFA. Africans are still obliged to deposit their foreign currency reserves in the French treasury. For over 75 years now, France still has a clear grip on her former colonies in Africa. They are 14 in number, as you earlier heard. Countries in the franc CFA zone are obliged to keep 50% of their foreign exchange reserves in an operational account owned by the French Treasury. On a striking note, from the 50% deposit Africans make at the French Treasury, they can only gain access to 15% in a year. They do not know how much savings they have so far, but no one cares to talk about it for fear of the unknown. France has not allowed her former colonies to live autonomously for over six decades now. She continues to dominate and control their economies directly. 2. France's former colonies are forced to use the colonial currency, the franc CFA. The franc CFA has been the currency used in former French colonies since 1945. From what most scholars have reported, the franc CFA currency was designed and imposed on African nations so that Franco-African ties will never stop existing. This has been condemned severally by the European Union, but France is not ready to get rid of such a system that drains African countries of their wealth and brings about 500 billion US dollars from each of them annually to the French treasury. Few people know exactly what amount Africa owns in the French coffers, where funds are invested. However, some of these officials still say they doubt the accountability as France carefully hides these details from them. Without Africa, France will run into the ranks of third world powers, said former French President Jacques Chirac in 2008. If you find this video interesting, then give it a like before we continue. 3. France can automatically confiscate the African country's national reserves. As earlier mentioned, France has continued to hold national reserves of 14 African countries ever since they obtained their independence in the 1960s. These countries are Benin, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Mali, Niger, Senegal, Togo, Cameroon, the Central African Republic, Guinea-Bissau, Equatorial Guinea, Chad, Congo-Brazzaville, and Gabon. More than 80% of the foreign reserves of these African countries are deposited in so-called operation accounts controlled by the French Treasury. The two independent declared African banks, Bayarc and Bayarco, practically have no monetary policies drafted by them. Do you think Africans should continue living under such unjust control? Leave your comments below. Let us proceed with other reasons why Africans must boycott France besides the CFA as a tool for manipulation. 4. France still has a colonial mindset of Africa. Most reforms that France made in Africa are usually greatly beneficial to her but detrimental to the Africans. France continues to believe in the colonial empire, whereby African countries must support the development of France by all means possible. The situation in Africa now is that France has trained and nourished hundreds and even thousands of traders, 
who are activated when France needs them to commit another military coup or create a threatening political situation inside Africa. 5. The African countries are prohibited from entering into any military alliance. Generally, all African countries have military alliances with their former colonizers, but as you can notice, France does not tolerate hers getting very close to the militaries of other great nations like Britain and the United States. Those who refuse to heed this policy are followed and crushed down, while supporters are lavished with goodies. What this means is that some of these so-called African leaders are just French puppets. This French policy has even been criticized by the French Union severally. France forbids the Africans from looking for any form of military cooperation and protection outside that offered by the French government. For this reason, Africans are in a better place to choose exactly what they want if they do not want to keep being blindfolded. 6. Africans are pressured to speak French instead of their own languages. Have you noticed that the French language is highly mandatory in their former African colonies? This language is being used for almost all official purposes, and other languages are given little or no attention. In Cameroon, for instance, the French language is the most widely used even in public examinations, considering that this country also has English as an official language. This issue of the French language being the most official language in Cameroon accounts partly for the separation demands of the English-speaking regions of the country. Next. 7. France claims the right to exploit any natural resource discovered in the country. This is another reason why Africans must boycott all of France and her monetary manipulation with the Franc CFA. France claims that it has the right to buy any natural resources found in the territory of its ex-colonies. These African countries are not allowed to seek other partners freely. 8. France forces African countries to give preference to French interests and companies in the field of public procurement and bidding. Since France could not avoid the call for African independence, she decided to grant her colonies free rule. However, these countries signed accords with France to ensure that their ties were not hampered. Every investment that France makes in the African continent usually has a string attached to it. As a matter of fact, France wants her former African colonies to pay back all that they spent during a period of colonialism. French companies have an upper hand on all government procurement bids in Africa. Their banks grant loans to Africans with exaggerated interest rates of 5-6% to or even more. 9. Senior military officers in these African countries are only to be trained in France. France still decides on important issues concerning the formation of the military in former African colonies. None of these countries' assimilated leaders have given a negative remark about this for fear of being killed by the French. Therefore, the highly skilled officers after their training in France still come back to continue with the assimilation policy. France still sees itself as a guarantor of stability in Africa and therefore, its old adopted policies still remain. This has culminated in military interventions that have constantly been on a rise. African nations want a powerful country to back them in times of trouble, but this support is usually given by France, expecting something even greater in return. 10. African military must join France if there are any more threats. As senior military officers are being trained in France, they receive instructions to let their troops ally with France if there are any threats to war. Even with the difficult policies that are slowly killing African countries, they still have to do what France says. When former French colonies are being compared to other countries in Africa, a lot of development has taken place in the non-French colonies since they were liberated from colonial rule. Meanwhile, there are many young talents and minds that can develop the continent with little or no external aid. Unfortunately, most of them flee to France or other countries at the slightest opportunity with no intention of returning home. If you were a world leader to address this situation to the people, what will be your take? The United Nations, other countries, and organizations know that this is what is going on, but they're shamelessly quiet. Many African leaders are quiet and afraid to speak up for fear of their lives. Most African leaders who were assassinated from the African independence era to date are linked to France in one way or another. Things are stagnating and getting worse, even with the coming of Macron as French president. 
he has simply continued from where the majority of his predecessors ended. Let your voice be heard in the comment box if you have something to say. Before we go, endeavor to help our channel grow by liking this video, subscribing to the new tourist, and turning on the notification bell for any of our updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.